Hi, this is Luis Flores. It's um, Monday night, um, the evening of the day that we celebrate the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Rally. Oh, he was with the rally. Oh, he was with the Hi, it's Susanna Choi. I'm on 120 West 12th Street in the middle of the block. This is where St. Vincent's was. We were having our Martin Luther King vigil that we dream, we demand a hospital, and a man just passed out. We didn't know what was happening. He's laying there on the ground right now. There's no ambulance. It's been, I don't know, five, ten minutes at least. And it's just it's just haunting and scary that there's no ambulance. There's no root and security here. Where and is root and security? I don't know. Normally, they, they, you're always on camera bothering us or telling us to move. And now there's no root and security, which is kind of ironic. So we're just waiting. And as you can see, there's no ambulance, which is just more proof that we need a full-service hospital. We need it now. What did you just say, Jane? I said this is what's been happening. People are, they have no access to health care because the hospital is closed. It's right here. Right. Now we got to wait for an ambulance so it gets across town, and that takes forever. Right. It's, it really makes no sense anymore. Yeah. It's about people's lives, not about money. Everywhere you look in this city, more and more, there's a dichotomy that's happening where the haves have more and the have-nots have even less. What does that say about our society? Here we are, I don't know how many more decades after the Reverend Doctor was assassinated, over four decades now, and the struggle against economic um, injustice, um, the lack of equal economic opportunity, the lack, w the lack of access to health care for all, th this injustice here is, is driving this community to, to have no hospital here. And the politicians, the government, and the people in power don't do anything about it. And the people who have less have very little of a voice. But the voice that we do have, we're going to rise up, speak our truth to power, and say we don't find this acceptable. And I know that the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King would not find this acceptable. This is not what he would have wanted. Join us on Tuesday, January 31st at 6 p.m. at the LGBT Community Center for a town hall meeting where this community is going to come together and decide what the next steps are in the struggle to replace this hospital with another full-service hospital for this community. Thanks.